All right, welcome back. And today you're gonna see the uh, first part of the monofilament comparatives. And this first one up is the suffix. And yeah, you're gonna see this test is quite a long test um, with this first one here because I, I wasn't really sure how high this thing was gonna go and it just kept going and going past the 20 pounds so yeah I was uh, pretty shocked right away just to see how far above 20 pounds this first test went but as you'll see later on this seemed to be a uh, recurring theme among the monofilaments so of course I began researching some other testing um, things that have been done by other people and especially more professional testing equipment like IGFA and you know all that stuff and yeah apparently it's uh, pretty common for the actual line to break higher than the marketed value so I think it's actually pretty much in almost all cases that your line's going to break a little bit higher than you know what it's marketed as so even that would include the uh, fluorocarbons that we tested previously so what I could find is that uh, on average the vanish was would uh, break about at 23 for 20 pound and the blue label at 25 for the 20 pound and this suffix here is at 28.5 and you'll see later the hybrid um, is actually 32.6 so these are just averages that I found from other testing but uh, you know it could be a different spool that I got but uh, you know that's all that's all that I could find so again you know I mentioned that just so you know you have an understanding of where I'm coming from I'm not trying to create professional testing here I'm just trying to test a couple lines that I have with the knots that I use and just to kind of see you know what what my maximum uh, breaking strength is for when I'm out there fishing so what I did do though is um, I tried to test the suffix on its own just to see what it would break at and I kind of like just wrapped it around the top and wrapped it around, on, on the reel and just and I tried and I kept going and going and going uh, and it essentially never broke it it broke um, it, well it didn't break and what did break was the reel so after this test right here, you see, uh, it will be the last test uh, for this reel. All right. So a slight modification I had to make because the mono was just so strong, it actually broke the reel. So yeah, as you can see, as you can see here, um, yeah, I think I damaged something with the gears here, and uh, um, yeah, it just wouldn't go. It wouldn't go past like 11 pounds of, of uh, pull, so pretty much broke that. So now I had to move to something a little stronger and doesn't really have any gears. It's an old, uh, old saltwater fly reel. I think like a. Yeah, I don't know. S SV3. It's an old one. But uh yeah, this seems to be working now. And same concept, you know, we didn't really change anything here. So the only thing I had to do was I had to add this piece here so I can put the uh the copper pipe around so I should like add another uh, piece there but that's it so there you go but uh this fly reel did uh, end up working pretty good 
and yeah you'll see maybe on the next ones i that uh, the old rail shows up for the suffix some of the later suffix tests but uh, this reel does good this fly reel so far so good gonna have to apologize for the clarity on the scale for I think I kind of jumbled around my setup a bit once the reel I had to adjust the reel and I, I think I replaced the camera on a somewhat offset angle and it became a little bit more difficult to read the counter on the scale, but um, you might be able to make it out. So I was a little disappointed at the Maxima for, I guess, just comparing it to the uh, other two. But what was good about the Maxima is that a lot of these values were very close to each other. You saw there it was an 18.29, and I think these next uh, a couple tests are also in 18s, like very close to each other. So I do like how it has a very um, close range and not too much deviation between each test. Uh, but yeah, still quite amazed at how much better these uh, perfection loops are for mono versus fluoro. Um, you know, and obviously diameter does make a difference so you know that is something you always have to think about if the fluoros had the same diameter as the monos and, and the same rating would they come out to be much closer you know probably probably definitely closer but still there's something about mono the way it cinches on a knot i think that has has its uh, slight benefits over fluorocarbon Perfection loop. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay right there. So last but not least, we have the Yozeri Hybrid. Now, I don't know if you would classify this as a Flora or a Mono. I think it more resembles a Mono because of the way the abrasion test, uh, the way it was breaking up underwater, and also because of the thicker diameter. It has much closer of a diameter to the Monos than, than some of those Floros have a thinner diameter. Uh, whatever it is, it's uh, quite amazing. All these tests that I got with the hybrid were very high, very in the high 20s. And you'll see even with the last test, it broke 30. So definitely some, some positive results for the hybrid. And especially since it had some pretty good results for the abrasion test. Um... Yeah, I'm very eager to see how the rest of uh, the test result for hybrid because it's definitely looking like I want to use this as uh, my next go-to leader.
Alright, so here's the final results and you know I, I put these percentages here but you know they're a little bit uh, different from before so the suffix is 119% so you know over 20 maxima was 93% so a little bit under 20 and the Ozuri hybrid with 141% yeah quite quite a bit above 20 and so what I did is I just took the highest test result that I got from each of those three and divided it by the average result so I would get you know something closer to what uh, the not strength percentage is based on the actual breaking strength because the break the actual breaking strength is obviously higher than 20 pounds um, so those are the results and you know the only thing is if you compare that um, fairly with fluoro the fluoros probably have higher than 20 as well so those percentages would come down a bit 